Sinn Féin critically engages uh, with the EU. Without doubt, there is a democratic deficit in the EU, and Sinn Féin are working for a more social Europe, for a greener Europe, for a more democratic Europe. Sinn Féin puts Ireland first, and in putting Ireland first, Brexit, without doubt, would be bad for Ireland. It would be bad for business, it would be bad for equality, it would be bad particularly for the agricultural sector and for farmers in general. 40% of the EU budget, the lion's share of the EU budget, goes and is dedicated towards CAP, what's called the Common Agriculture Policy, for farmers and for the rural community. And the British government wants to reduce the CAP budget. It has been arguing that uh, the lion's share of the EU budget should not be going towards CAP. And Declan Kearney, the chair of Sinn Féin and others, have been asking the British government, are they going to replace the £3.5 billion of funding that comes here in, into the north? And of course, they are dancing around that and they are refusing to tell us whether they will replace it or not and there's no faith in myself as a Sinn Féin MEP, in my party or none of the other MEPs that they will rep re replace it. If you just take an example, cattle for instance can be born in Kerry and they can be raised in County Derry and the reason for that is that they can be raised tar free, they can move across Ireland and rightly so. Um, because there are no tariffs in the movement of goods or people. But Brexit, what we could potentially end up with along the 310 miles of a border corridor, are border checkpoints, are um, all of those obstacles that people have fought many years and tears to get the border dismantled. And to think that's just even in the movement of cattle, never, you know, I mean, you add to that, um, of course, the, the fact that 23,000 people cross the border to work and study every day. Hence, we are arguing for this reason and many, many other reasons. We are asking people to vote Remain in Ireland on the 23rd of June, not to be shackled to Britain.